Jesus, peace be upon him, is loved by billions of people all over the world. What could come as a big surprise to many Christians to know that Muslims love him dearly too. We claim to love him even more than they do. I believe we have the right to that claim because we follow and believe what he taught. We have never changed his teachings and we haven't changed his position to anything other than what it was. We can say this with all confidence because we have a full and accurate account of this in the final revelation of the Holy Quran. Yeah, I totally agree, Abdullah. We Muslims love Jesus, peace be upon him, dearly. And you know, an interesting fact that uh, many of us need to consider is that nowhere in the Bible does Jesus say he is God. Um, in fact, if this... Thank you very much, thank you. You know, at this point, if, if this was true, you'd have countless narrations in the Bible. But the fact is, it's not mentioned once anywhere where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. And you know, Abdullah, another point of discussion is this claim about Jesus being the son of God. We Muslims believe that this was an invention by man. The first person who taught this was Paul, who was a person who hadn't even met Jesus, peace be upon him. And it wasn't until a few hundred years later that the Roman Empire decided to declare this as the official Christian creed. They declared all other views of Jesus as heresy, and any follower of Jesus, peace be upon him, was forced to believe that Jesus is the Son of God, or he was persecuted, or tortured, or even killed. In Islam, we believe that Jesus is a messenger from God, and he came to reaffirm messages from earlier prophets like Noah, Abraham, Jacob, and Moses. Jesus himself in the Bible says in John chapter 5, verse 30, I can't do anything by myself. Whatever I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. I don't seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. Okay, that's an interesting passage. Uh, you know, there's also many verses in the Quran which actually reach out to the uh, followers of Jesus Christ, informing them of who Jesus really was and what he really taught. Allow me to share with you one such passage. And God says, O people of the scripture, do not exaggerate or go to extremes in your religion, or say anything about God but the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was no more than an honored messenger of God, and his word that he imparted to Mary and the spirit from him. So believe in God and his messengers, and do not say, three in one, cease for your own good, for your Lord is one God, glory be to him. He is far above having a son. All that is in the heavens and the earth belongs to him, and God is sufficient as guardian of the affairs of the universe. Beautiful verse, Uthman. May God guide us all. I hope we all follow the true message of Jesus, which is still preserved in the Quran. I know Christians love Jesus dearly, but there can be only good news for them in Islam. And adopting the message of Islam does not mean they have to abandon their love for Jesus. If anything, it will allow them to love him even better.